Hey everybody. Here we have a couple of light strap DVD burners pulled out of a couple of HP Compact 6000 Pro MT workstations. I want you guys to have a look at the back of these drives. You might be in for a big surprise. Yeah, have a look at that. Something definitely happened here. Have a look at this cable. Nice and toasty. So apparently what happened here was these cables, the connector shorted out. And it could have been due to corrosion. You can see there's some corrosion here, but I think that was after the um, after the incident. Um, so these connectors shorted out. Again, mind you, these were from two different computers, and I've actually seen this happen to several more at the organization they came from. The thing is, these particular machines, they they decided they weren't going to use a standard ATX uh, form factor where your power supply sends out all your different voltages, but instead, the power supply in these machines sends out about 300 watts worth of 12 volt DC to the motherboard. Yeah, the motherboard only gets 12 volt DC. I mean, it might get a 5 volt standby auxiliary rail, but I'm, I don't think so. I think, if I remember right, the thing only gets 12 volts DC. And the motherboard in the machine uses DC to DC conversion to convert the 12 volts to 5 volts and 3.3 volts, respectively. And also, you get your minus 12 volt rail as well. Um, but also, the concern I have about this particular machine series is a it is an obvious lack of short circuit protection. Normally, when a power supply cord shorts out like that, um, you'd think that the short circuit protection would kick in a lot faster. However, in this case, once it's shorted, it's shorted and burned. I mean, the office, at least one of the um, clients that had one of these computers at the organization, um, they mentioned that their computer was smoking and they had to like open the windows, open the door, vent their office out because their office was like filled with smoke due to this right here. And the insides of the machines, or at least one of them, had a nice black spot in the top of the chassis from where the, um, the thing shorted out and arc well itself together well not well it didn't arc well itself but it it arced quite a bit I'm sure and smoked quite a bit made a big uh, nasty smell so essentially I think what happened here is due to HP's design of uh, feeding the motherboard straight 12 volts and having the DC to DC conversion on board um, the DC to DC conversion at least in the 6000 um, apparently did not have proper SCP because this is just absolutely crazy a fire hazard in my opinion um, for anybody who's using an HP 6000 Pro just be warned I've seen this happen to several of these machines not just these two drives but I mean several of the machines now get this <laughs> you could change out this drive that you could change out the burned up um, drive and the burned up cable for some spares and the thing would just, the computer would just boot right up as if nothing ever happened. The power supply, the, the, the actual main power supply along with the motherboard conversion was not affected. It worked just fine. On a side note, 
I had not seen this happen to the HP 6200 Pro, which is similar in design. It also uses the the same style cables um, as a 6000. Uses the um, the 12 volts to the power to the uh, motherboard and onboard conversion. But apparently they seem to have fixed this with the 6200. But man, the 6000. I mean, get get yourself a close look at this. I mean, that thing is just roasted. And it's a 12 volt circuit that's shorted. Now, we'll have a look at the um, actual cord again here in this moment, the cable. But, yeah. Shorted out and burned up quite nicely. Let's have a look at the other one. Slightly different model drive. I don't think it's a, I don't think the drives are at fault, but, um, <laughs> this one really burned up, burned up really nicely. Get you a close look at the connector. Once we get focus. I mean, look at that. I mean, it is burned and burned and burned. Now, I've had these in my collection for quite a while. This happened, I think, back in 2015 or 2016. I think it was actually 2016. But isn't that crazy? And I'll mention that um, occasionally on Tiger Direct and probably eBay, you'll find these machines uh, for sale in the off-lease uh, market. Because, you know, a lot of these machines, they were purchased through a, like a business contract from HP. And, or, le you know, leased, however that works. They'd use them for three to six years or whatever, and then they would go into the, they would get sold in, to the off-lease market where you can find them on sites like Tiger Direct and places like that. Um... So if you happen to have your hand, get your hands on one of these computers, just be warned. Um, now this isn't, in, as far as the percentage of machines affected at the organization I'm talking about, was relatively low. But the fact that we still had like several of these things do this is kind of disturbing. So yeah. Isn't that crazy? Look at this one one more time. And again, look at the cable as I had mentioned. This definitely happened on a 12 volt rail. You can see yellow is your 12 volts. And um, this is the side of the cable that got um, fried. And afterwards started to corrode. You can see inside there how corroded things are. Heck, I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe the um, cable or disconnector started to corrode a little bit before this actually happened. But again, you'd think in a regular PC power supply, um, your short circuit protection would kick in and prevent a fire from happening. Normally, that would be the case, but with the HP 6000 Pro. Um, I think what happened was this shorted out, but on the um, flip side, there was enough resistance in the wires and the motherboard's um, um, traces, because I'm sure that the 12 volts got passed on and not con didn't actually go through any major conversion. I'm thinking that there was enough resistance in the cables leading to the drive and enough resistance in the motherboard traces to where the main power supply did not notice a problem. Crazy stuff. Anyways, I want to share it with you guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. 
But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.